Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to continue with Joanna Bassford's Joanna's Christmas. We are going to finish our color along today. Isn't that exciting? We are approaching Christmas next week. I can't even believe it is coming so quickly. This year is almost over. <laughs> Anyways, if you are just stumbling across this video and you would like to join us for this Christmas color along, please do check the description box below for the playlist for this color along, as well as a link for my Facebook group, and you are more than welcome to join us there. The playlist will always remain on my channel, so you can follow along whenever you would like to. If you enjoy videos like this, please do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also turn your bell notifications on. If you like this video, please do make sure you give it a thumbs up because that helps my channel out a whole lot and it helps others to be able to see my content as well. Let's go ahead and get into the coloring of this snow globe. Here is my snow globe so far. If you have missed out on any of these tutorials, but you're just finding this video, make sure that you check the link below in the description box for the playlist so that you can get all caught up. If you just want to sit back and relax and watch as the snow globe comes to life, you're more than welcome to do that as well. For the base of the snow globe, I have been contemplating colors for a little while. And I've been trying to figure out that I really want to use gold. I really want a gold base to my snow globe to really just kind of bring it all together. And I really think it just kind of looks like a winter wonderland. I love the way that it turns out with just all golds and blues. And this was my intention from the very beginning. And I love how I just made it all come together. So for the base of the snow globe, I need to use kind of browns and golds and all of the colors that I used actually in the castle, but I need to be able to figure out how to use them so that they are going to still be able to contrast with one another so that you can see one color beyond the other one and be able to separate out all these different sections down here in the base. And yes, I went ahead and tore my page out of my book at the port perforations because it is just so much easier to work that way. Well, usually when I'm working, and I'm trying to color the page in this book. It's knocking against my camera. And so it's creating kind of a shaking in some of my videos. And so I just pulled it out of the book because I thought it would be much easier. So let's talk about the colors that we're going to use. And these are all the same colors that were used in the castle. We have dark umber, jasmine, and burnt ochre. And then we have another brown, which is light umber, our deco yellow, our cream, my absolute favorite for highlights. And then we have our canary yellow. And then, of course, the goldenrod, because goldenrod is that color that you always need to create gold. This is the main color that really helps to create the gold in anything that you're coloring. Y'all that have been watching me for quite a while know that the first thing that I do is I use my Doll 133 sharpener and I make sure always that I have a nice sharp lead on all of my pencils. So I'm going to take all of the ones that I'm going to be using first and I'm just going to freshen them up. I know so many of you have purchased this pencil sharpener and you absolutely love it. Some of you have had questions about how to use the pencil sharpener. And if you go back to my video for this pencil sharpener, you I think that I show you in that video exactly how to use the pencil sharpener. So I will link that in the upper right hand corner just in case you need to see that. These are the colors that I'm going to start out with. I've got my jasmine, my dark umber, and my burnt ochre. So these are where we're starting. When I color something like the base of this snow globe, I always try to see where the main areas are. Like I would assume like this is a main area. And then over here would be some of the main areas. 
like back here behind where these little ovals are that would be the main area and then all of this here all of those areas I want the same color and that's how I'm going to do it like these areas right here I believe them to be just kind of laying over what is the actual part of the base the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm actually using my deco yellow I kind of see how I always change my mind so I changed my mind and I'm just going to put some deco yellow all in these areas on every single one of these and I'm just laying a little bit and I'm only putting just one layer and then I'm just going to come back in this is going to be like my highlight color and I'm going to come back in and I'm going to create some shadows but I want to work on these that are what I would consider the decoration around it so I want to make sure that these are colored in because I want to make sure that these right here which I would consider the decoration are actually going to look like they're laying over the top of that so now I'm going to come in with my jasmine and I'm going to lay some color in here. I think I'm just going to go all the way over these just to lay my first layer. I'm just kind of going kind of quickly because all this is doing is just laying some pigment down in the area just so that I could separate the areas and see what I'm doing or try to figure out exactly what I want it to look like. So now I'm going to come back with my burnt ochre and I'm going to go up here to the tops and kind of pull this down and I'm going to go down on the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing. And the area that I want to keep highlighted is just right in here where it kind of comes to a V. Because this is the decoration on the snow globe, I just really want it to kind of pop. So I want to make sure that it does that. And part of this video may be sped up to music because I feel like if I tape the whole entire thing without speeding any part of this up to music, it is going to make for quite a long video. So we're just going to finish up just doing this on every single one of these. And what I'm doing by adding this color here is trying to keep a contrast or create a contrast between this area and this area. And these are all the same colors that I've already used in my castle. I'm coming back with a second layer and I'm pulling it down a little bit more because this is not this is not my last color. I'm going to lay an even darker color over the top of this and I'm trying to create a type of bronze color on just these V-like decorations. So that is where my dark umber is going to come in. And this is going to be what we use to just add the shadows. And look at the difference that makes. All of these little areas on this entire base of the snow globe are all so intricate. I'm 
I'm going a little bit out of the line, so I probably need my eraser. You guys know which eraser I love, and I don't know if you watched my last video, but I can't find it again. <laughs> ah, I always lose my mono eraser. And I don't know how I do that, probably because I have literally pencils scattered across my entire desk everywhere. And the thing is so skinny and small that it just kind of blends in to my pencils and just kind of looks like one of my pencils just without a color. And then I have all different places on my desk where I keep all of my different things for whatever different projects I'm working on for my channel or even the ones that I'm trying to do in my personal time. I probably should have sped this part up, but I want you guys to be able to see exactly where I'm laying these colors just to get you started. Some of you actually already colored the base and shared it in the Facebook group and some of them have been absolutely beautiful. There was somebody in my Facebook group that actually turned hers into a beach scene. And being from Florida, oh my gosh, I absolutely loved it. That was the most creative thing. If you're in my Facebook group, you have to go back and look for that. Maybe just do a search or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe send her a message and ask her if I could show off her snow glow because I loved it so much. Okay, so I'm coming back with my burnt ochre and I'm just kind of pulling this through. But I loved her snow globe and what she did. It was absolutely gorgeous. She drew in a bunch of flamingos. Now I'm pulling this down even further. All I'm doing is just pulling this darker color down even further on each one of these. Because this color, this burnt ochre, is what is actually going to make it more like a uh, bronzy color. And we only really used the dark umber just to add the shadows in that we need. And then we just need to come back with the jasmine and we need to kind of fill this in and pull all these colors through. This is a gorgeous combination of colors. It looks like I may need one more layer. Probably another layer of the burnt ochre. I'm going to come back with another layer of the burnt ochre and kind of fill these in and I'm going to go ahead and speed this up to music.
Now down here where I want to create a little bit of shadows in these areas, I'm going to come back with my golden rod and I'm going to start working in some of these areas just to kind of darken it up and create the shadow that I want. Now I'm going to come back with my light umber and I'm going to create a little bit more shadow. I'm doing this very lightly. I just want a very little bit of shadow in these areas. But I don't want to do too much of this because I really want the other part to stand out a lot more, the part that is back here. So I'll probably have to come back with the dark umber. But this just adds a little bit more colors into the mix. These colors mixed up is what gives them the look. You're basically mixing colors together to create different colors. And then over here, it's going to have to be quite a bit darker because this is the outside of our snow globe. And I'm going to have to do the same thing over here on this side. Make sure your lead is fairly sharp, but you want to create a lot of shadow in there. And then you probably want to come back with your goldenrod and just kind of pull that through. I'm just adding a little bit more goldenrod to brighten these areas up. And to brighten it up even more, I'm probably going to come back again with the yellow that I used. I can't even remember which one now, which it was. The deco yellow, maybe. But see how we're using all the same colors and just applying them in different spaces, dependent upon which one is darker, which one is lighter. And we're still creating a contrast between the two areas. And we're going to do this through the entire base. It took me quite a while to figure out exactly what I was going to do with this base. And that's probably most of the truth why this video took a little bit longer because I wanted it to be perfect. <laughs> Now I'm going to come back here where I want some highlight and I'm just adding some deco yellow into the centers. And 
I'm actually going to go over all of the areas or the other areas as well and just kind of pull all this through. I love how this color just kind of brightens things up. It's one of my favorite highlight colors. If you've been watching my videos for quite some time, you probably already know that. This part I'm going to go ahead and speed up to music and I'm just going to kind of come through here in all of these areas and I'm going to use my dark umber and I'm going to add shadows and detail exactly where I want it. Now I am going to come back and I'm going to pull that through with my burnt ochre. Now that I have this section all done here, I want to come down here and I want to make this space here pop out beyond where the colors are lighter here. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do this type of shade here along this piece and then possibly a lighter one down here. So the same color that I did in this area will come down here and then the same shade I did here will come on the thicker piece. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to speed that up to music.
Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to do these areas right in here. And these are going to be the same colors as I used in for these spaces here, which is the goldenrod and the jasmine. And I had a little bit of the deco yellow in there. This is what I have so far of my base and it's taking a really long time so to save the length of the video I'm going to go ahead and split this one up into two parts and I'm going to come back with a part two and finish the base of the snow globe. If you enjoyed this video please do make sure that you give it a thumbs up and turn your bell notifications on so that you always get notified when I post a new video. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I am also over there and you'll find links for that down in the description box below. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Happy coloring. Bye.